it'd be surreal to drive down the road and hear us on the radio and, you know, or be in a grocery store and, you know, be shopping and hear us on the radio. That'd be it's a dream come true, really, man. That's when you made it, when you're, when you can hear yourself on the radio, you know? Uh, I came up here, uh, let's see, like, um, 86, I started coming up here. I was homeless for like six years, living in my van, you know? I lived from block to block, and then I'd find a band to audition for. I'd pull up down the street, you know? I wouldn't tell them I was homeless. And then I'd go jam, get in the band, you know? And then I'd, I'd you know, i leave, leave and come back to practice, but I'd just go a few blocks away and, you know, eat Top Ramen <laughs> in my van. It's like, it was rough, man, really. It's hard when you don't know anybody and you're all alone, you know? And, but you have that dream, you know? You wanna, you know, you wanna go all the way in. I've always been on a mission. You know, my father was a drummer too. He passed away in 2011 though. He never knew I started a band with my kids. Just as it started, he died. He would have been so proud, you know, knowing that I started a band with my kids, man. Because he was always like wondering why every time I got anything good going, it fell apart. It always broke up. I don't know if it's fear of success with people or human nature, but you know, nobody can keep anything going. Everybody, nobody's satisfied, you know? Always switching, always changing. Except for now the band I got now will never break up. We love each other. I took my two daughters in the guitar center and they were over the guitar department and they picked up a guitar and a bass and I was like, they acted like they knew what they were doing. I was like, this is like, you know, match being in heaven for me. So I, you know, I got them guitar lessons for the first year and they were like, yeah, you know, they seemed like they wanted to do it. But then after a year passed, then boom, it hasn't stopped since then. always had it, oh man, for some reason. I always I always get hope off other musicians, you know? I meet them, I click with them, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, we're like writing songs. I'm like, yes, you know? And then it lasts for a certain period of time and then it, something would happen and it would all fall apart, you know? So I'm not gonna stop anytime soon, I'll tell you that much. I'll be swinging a stick till I'm an old man, you know? So I was six, six years homeless, all right? And then I met a stripper, I dated a few strippers, and. I got one of them pregnant and she, I was in love, but she was in love with herself. So she bailed and she left me with a little kid and I worked for a rock magazine called uh, Rock City News. So, and I ran an ad in the, the, the rock magazine here in LA and it says, woman wanted, it says, I'm a Pisces, she's a Libra. You have to want us both or you can't have neither. She wants a mommy, I want to love her. If you're a bimbo, don't bother. And I had about 200 girls call me in. And then I, I met a beautiful girl from Indiana named Chantal and she uh, she gave me the two uh, beautiful daughters I have that I started the rock band with so uh, basically the moral story is a happy ever after and, uh, and it all worked out and I got everything that I wanted in life you know I was like five three sixties in a row I used to, every day I'd go all the way down Holly Boulevard and all the way back up and, and take her on bike rides every day. You know, like this. So all we did was bike ride. And I have a safety strap on my wrist, right? So I can't lose her, you know? Yeah, things sad, you know. Time keeps running on going on, you know. That's how it goes. Okay.